Hey, wanna improve your home's curb appeal so you can sell it faster and for more money? Well, you found the right video. Thousands of people get a big thrill out of looking at model houses. You know, people don't shop for homes like they used to. No, today, just like everything else, there's an app for that. Fill out what you're looking for, hit search, and then you scroll and scroll, just like Instagram or TikTok, until something catches your eye. And that's Curb Appeal. Think of Curb Appeal as your home's thumbnail or profile pic. And since the majority of photos are of the exterior, we need to make sure it pops. If it doesn't catch the buyer's eye, they'll never click on the listing, never schedule a showing, and your chances of selling them your house just went to zero. So we're gonna give you five tips to improve your curb appeal. These are the very same tips that we used on our last house to help get it under contract fast and make a profit of $80,000. Tip number one, assess. Walk around your house, look for any distractions and get a game plan. Yeah, I'm talking old man in a Speedo. Just like a beautiful Instagram model, it doesn't matter how good she looks. If there's an old dude in a Speedo, that's the first place your eye is drawn. Same thing with eyesores around your house. It doesn't matter how good your house looks. If you've got some big nasty mess, that's the first place your eye is drawn. Remember, when people see a mess, they see work. They're buying a house and not stress. This next step seems like common sense, and it is. It's clean up. Just remove as many of those eyesores and distractions as you can. I'm talking remove everything. If it's an eyesore, get rid of it. So that right there is some heavy machinery. It's just a little skid steer bobcat. We got it because we had a giant coal pile over here that needed to be moved, as well as just a bunch of railroad timbers. So my problem is not spending money to rent equipment. If it makes the job go by faster, I am all for it. My problem is, man, that thing is fun, and I start finding excuses to use it. Yee to the yee, let's go! <laughs> well, shit, now what? Step three, if you can't remove it, replace it. If you can't replace it, then paint it. And if you can't paint it, then cover it up. I got my honey bee buzz, I got my kids on my lap. Shake my cool whip, I'm getting ready to cool. After we painted the house white, we replaced the windows and roof and then we decided to paint the gutters black so it would tie everything together. If you wanna be cool, cool. And you know we had to paint that door for a pop of color. After we cleaned the sidewalks, we didn't really like the way they looked, so uh, hell, we painted those too. These dormers were a huge eyesore, so we covered them with wood shake. And we really didn't have anywhere to park our cars, so we covered the yard with gravel and made a driveway. Step four is landscape. This is where you pay attention to your grass, add some trees, some flowers, a little green thumb goes a long way at making your house feel like a home. We went to our local nursery so they could help us pick the best layout for our house and they hooked us up with a mixture of trees, shrubs, and flowers. So getting those trees out of my car was not 
easy. They were like 100 pounds a piece, but I got a fat ass. <laughs> I guess you could say I was made for this. <laughs> Don't neglect your secondary structures either. If you've got fences, outbuildings, a detached garage, give them the curb appeal treatment too. Like, look at this old building we had. It looked like shit. It was a total eyesore. So this house came with an outbuilding, and as you can see, it really sucks. A lot of people would just be quick to write it off and just say, well, we'll just tear it down and just replace it later. We're not gonna do that. So we're gonna actually take the time to fix this up and it will increase the curb appeal of the house. We're not gonna be spending a lot of money on this building. We're gonna paint it, new doors, that's it. That alone is gonna make this building look awesome. We fixed it up for like 50 bucks. We had leftover paint and leftover wood shake. Uh, the local grocery store was throwing away some commercial doors. We slapped those on the front, painted it, gave it a once over and boom, now it looks great and it really improved the overall curb appeal and added to the house instead of taking away from it. Step five is finishing touches. And these final details are the icing on the cake. I'm talking new house numbers, a new mailbox, some cute outside decor, things we didn't do. True, but they can make your house All right, I hope you can take these tips and use them on your own home. Comment below and let us know what your favorite curb appeal tips are. All right, guys, that's it for us. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.